And, and don't say so, because apparently the, the audience hates it when I say so, so much. So, how are we doing this? <laughs> so, with that being said. <laughs> Made it home. Back in Utah. Got a stack over there. There's stuff at the door. Got a stack over here. Yes! All my steel showed up. <gasps> it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. What did we get? Yes! Heck yeah! My Multimatic 220. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, and Kevin's gonna be excited because I'm pretty sure. <sighs> yes! Coils for the juggy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Excited to put these on. Anyway, we made it. The Jeep made it. <laughs> like a champ. We had a couple of minor issues that were not motor related, but uh, there she is. She made it. <laughs> well, I wasn't ready for that. Okay, let's do that again. What's, What's up, up Light Bright Nation? Nation? <laughs> so we got a lot of work to do this week. We took a little vacation, now we're full of energy, as you can tell from this one over ready. here. Ready, let's do this. Yeah. I gotta figure out why the Toyota doesn't work, or drive, or move, and we gotta build a bumper and a skid plate for that. And let's get ready to go. That was terrible, so just chop that up. So, I don't know, let's just get to work. One, two, three. <laughs> Break! <laughs> so we gotta prep this bad boy. We gotta get this thing out of here. And in the front garage. Look at it though. God, it looks so good. This is exactly how it came out of King of the Hammers last year. Just like that. So we're gonna have Beck do some prep on this. Door's locked. Yep. That door hasn't been open in a long time. What I should have done was the handstand walk. Oh, now you're getting now, now you're getting crazy. Now you're now you're getting crazy. Beck got the pump out. Now I found a spare and now she's putting our brand new spare in the truck. We still gotta send the alternators out so we'll do that probably later today or tomorrow. We'll run them down. We need to pump out some more amps out of the alternators because the little battery with all these lights, all these lights. When all these lights get going at night, it uh, stresses out the alternator pretty heavily. And all we have is this little Odyssey guy, which I'm gonna add another one I think. We're gonna run duels. So that's, that's next on the list, but it's not a priority. Priority is just getting this thing back up and running for Trail Hero, which shouldn't take too much more time. But Beck's cranking away, trying to get that pump back in. Brand new. While Beck gets the Ultra 4 back up and running, we have to come in here and we're gonna take all this back apart. We're gonna pull the cables out. We're gonna see why. It, it's possibly a cable. I'm hoping it's a cable out of adjustment. So we're gonna we're gonna start there. So I'm gonna take all this off, pull the seat back out, and uh, yeah. Work smarter, not harder. So now we're gonna open up our new Millermatic 220. Multimatic 220. Bam! Can't wait to get this thing up and running. All the hoses and lines. Oh, look at this cute little spool of wire they give you. So tiny. So here's the leads. Okay, so this is for doing stick. We got dual gauges, pressure gauges for the tanks, dual tanks. Oh, it's a pedal, foot control. Foot control, so you can TIG, so it's got a TIG option. 
There's your wand. There's your hot glue gun. Oh, it's not that bad. There she is. Meg, tig, stick. Very easy. Let's get this thing powered up and see what it does. All right, this machine will do 220 and 110. If you get into a predicament where you gotta use 110, I would probably never run 110, but you have it. Smaller wire, smaller amps, you can get away with a lot of stuff doing a 110. It's very easy. And now you're 110. I can't even tell you how excited I am about this new Multimatic 220, and we're gonna get some things made Pretty quick, I ordered all that steel. Some of that steel came in is for the welding table that we're gonna build. I gotta get some bottles coming. I need an argon and a mix so that we can do some migging and some tigging. We'll power it up in a little bit and get the, get the wire fed. I'll take the bottle off of that welder and we'll get it on here and uh, start building some stuff. So I just been over here trying to adjust these cables. And I wonder if I just had these not quite far enough because now they hit the dash. So I'm going to have to redo that. But I think they went farther. Let's go find out. <clears throat> truth here. Good Lord, it's hot in here. At least the windows still work. Um, I'm pretty sure that's in high. So let's, let's see what happens. We're in reverse. Oh shit, it moves. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, let's see if low works. That feels like it went in. Oh yes, okay, yep, that's low. All right, so we gotta adjust this cable. So this cable needs a little bit more, but we can put her in high. High works really good. Oh yes. All right, so we will finish dialing this stuff in, and apparently I have a little exhaust rattle, and that sucks real bad. So we'll have to figure that out. We'll get that fixed, and then, uh, yeah, we'll build skid plates and stuff. Skid plates and bumpers. <laughs> Sick. The UPS guy just came to the door and sent me this, and I have no idea what's in it. Oh, God. I was going to be sending something, but here it is. Sorry for the delay. Uh, I think I'm supposed to wait. For what? Christmas? I think this is the one that Kevin told me to wait, but it had my name on it. We'll just we'll just we'll just wait. We'll we'll wait. We'll wait. I only saw what was on top. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. One of the problems. So after being on the road for six hours or so, we get into town around 11 and this is in SoCal. And I went to put my window up and it wouldn't go up. So here it is like super late and I can't put my window up and the entire back of the Jeep is full of our belongings. So <laughs> what happened was we burned out the switch and now we're gonna put new switches in and Chris wants to relocate them. I wanna them. put them right there. Yep. So they will sit here. Yep. So they'll, yep. Yeah, like that. Yep. yep. Like this. So we're going to shove those guys in there. And the reason we're doing that too is because this is like knee height. So when you take a turn, and you're <laughs> sitting in the seat. <laughs> The knee hits it and you put the window down and it happens on both sides. If you get if it's raining, you get wet. It's 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 pretty comical. Yeah. It's like right there. So your knee just goes boop and then the window goes down. So we're going to get rid of these. I don't put them right there. And what are you going to do? I'm going to change out well, actually, I'm just gonna clean the filter on the Ultra 4, right? Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we don't have to change it out. We're gonna pull both the fuel filters on the Ultra 4 and get those cleaned up. So, I don't know if you remember at King of the Hammers last year, that guy right there was always full of clay, I would say. So, we pulled it out at DCD Customs when we were there, and then we pulled it out again at King of the Hammers. But it didn't give us a problem during the race, I don't think. So, we're just gonna pull those and make sure that they're still clean. But we're still doing a prep for Trail Hero. We're gonna change the oil in it later. We're gonna bleed the system, and then uh, this thing will be ready to go kill the trails at Trail Hero. So, what I had to do to, to get the windows up at 11 o'clock at night was to basically take the passenger window and swap it for the driver window control so that I can at least roll the other window up. 
But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna rip all this, I'm gonna rip all this wiring out and I'm gonna rewire it my way. Uh, and we'll put some connectors in here. So this will get another connector so that you can take the doors off. And I'm gonna stick it right there and just have two switches. So there won't be a master and a slave for the passenger side. I'm just gonna build two masters, one for the left, one for the right and wire it up that way. Socks. Every girl's got socks in the driver door. I don't know. Quick disclaimer, I don't know what power window kit this is. LJs do not come with power windows. So here's the kit. When she bought the Jeep, it already had this power windows in it. So one thing we're gonna have now, is gonna be this hole in the door panel. So what we did, or what we're going to do, is I'm gonna buy a, a mole bag, like a, a Molly Pack mole bag, and we're just gonna put it on the door here so there'll be an extra pocket so that there won't be this giant hole. Well, apparently this Jeep had an alarm system too, but she has no key fobs, and there's a lot of rat's nest under there. So we're just gonna clean out this whole dashboard. We're gonna yank out all the power window crap, all of the old alarm system. It's all coming out. I've already gutted the doors. I had uh, door poppers or power lock things and I, we're, ripping, we're ripping it all out. We're, we're ripping it all out, all, all of it. We're just gonna start fresh and do it my way. Yeah. All that, all, all this, all that, this whole box thing right here. It's just a mess. All this, this whole monster thing. It's all coming out, it's all coming out. All gone. It's all gone, all the box, all the extra stuff. And it still starts, so that's a good thing. All that crap, all that crap. And I'm just gonna put in a couple of wires so the windows go up and down. <laughs> so I'm gonna start this by putting a connector on the end of the motor wires. I'm gonna tuck that up underneath. Up underneath here, I'm gonna put a nice sleeve on it so there'll be no extra wires. There'll just be two wires. So you have to unplug them when you take the doors off because she does like to take the doors off. Easy peasy. She probably order some more of these because these are the last two I got. Whew, thank God. So I got one for each door. Just simple weather packs. That's it. Ta-da! So far so good. It doesn't look creamy like it did before. <laughs> So now we'll get the other, we gotta get the other one off and then we'll crack these guys open. See what kind of crap is in them. That's what he says, so excited. N nothing in that one. So this one, this one has nothing. Oh. It's not too bad, a little bit of junk in there. A little bit. This is pump number two? It was this one. Pump number one. All right, that's our primary one. So that looks pretty good. That ran the whole race, so that's all the crap in the, from the whole race. So the tank is fairly clean. That's that's a plus. I'll just brake clean that off, clean them off, and stick them back together. That one looks good. Pump, pump number two. It's a little twisted. It is. But it's good. I don't think we changed this one. Without Pokemon. Oh. Looks great. Perfect. I don't have to yank the tank and clean it. <laughs> So now we just put these back together and put them back in the truck. I am so excited right now. Beck's putting those fuel filters back in. We got these made up. So here's our connector. Nice PET wrapped all the way up to the motor. So these will go here and this connector will just sit right under here. And then we get to install the rest of the wiring, which I'm gonna modify, because like I said, we're not gonna have a passenger door switch. We're just gonna have the masters. So I'll have to rewire the passenger to be a passenger master. Something like that. Here goes nothing. We just have the power plugged in. I just have the motors ran. This thing lit up, so I'm pretty happy about that. How'd I do? Heck yeah. Down. Up. Down. Up. So sweet. Now we just gotta cut this guy out. We're gonna stick it right in that square right there. It looks a hair big. I might have to do some modifying, but uh, We'll get it in there. It's a brisk morning out here in Southern Utah. And this shop works so much that we can't keep up with the cardboard. So that's all cardboard and filling. Gotta make a dump run this morning. So yeah, watch this. Watch this. Cardboard. Lots of it. I'm gonna run down to the dump this morning. I gotta scoop up the alternator for the Ultra 4. 
that's today's plan is to get the Ultra 4 back on the ground and running. I gotta do an oil change, complete the power steering, and it'll be back in business. Wrapping up the install on power windows, we had one issue. The switch housing used to be this long, and it didn't fit in that hole. So I had to cut it down. We're gonna stick it back together. We're gonna do a little bit of body work, and now they'll fit. And the switches, the switches fit by a long shot. So the switches will be fine. See, there's plenty of room. It'll look great. So now we're just gonna stick those together and get them in the hole. Ha! Now we got this little guy setting up, we'll clean it up, and then I'll shoot it black, and then it'll be good to go. But while we're waiting for that, we gotta finish putting the alternator in the Ultra 4. Goes in that hole right there. So Beck's gonna throw that in there, and then I'm gonna take some panels off because we gotta do an oil change on this thing today. And then we can put it back together, prime it, and she'll be done. The guys down at Interwest Rebuilders down in St. George who tested this alternator because we were having some slight voltage issues with it had mentioned that we possibly have a grounding issue. So what we did, he doesn't think this anodizing was grounding very well or this through bolt. So all I did was knock off all the anodizing off the surfaces of this so that they mount directly to this billet so that we can try to get a better ground. And that's what we're gonna hope happens. If not, he said to ground them off the back of the alternator. So these little, these three little screws right here, we'd build like a, a little harness and go directly to those because they go straight to the cage. But the housing should be good enough. We're gonna put it in and then we'll show you how to test this. You wanna test it at the battery and the alternator to find out if you have the same voltage or roughly the same voltage. If you don't and you have a big draw, that means the alternator is not grounding properly and we need to figure something out. So let's get it installed now. No shiny bits in the oil, that's always a good thing. Say she's not shiny at all. That's the molly from the top, but no shiny bits. Well, that's cool. So we're doing this oil change, k and filter, the Castro GTX 2050 is what we're using. Oh, does she get it? Here goes nothing. <laughs> 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 All right, well, Beck finishes up the Ultra 4 oil change. I finished the LJ. Door panels are on. Look at this clean, clean install. Can't even see the wires. There they are. There it is, all installed. Turn the key on. Boop, they light up. Oh, yeah, so does that. Ha. So perfect. So now we got every now we got everybody wrapped up. We gotta wash them all. We're gonna wash this bad boy. Clean all this stuff out of here. Get this thing all shined up, which I probably should have done at first. Beck's gonna wash the Supra because she needs a bath because mom and dad come home tonight. We're gonna give Brittany a fresh car. She's been locked in the garage for I don't know three months since they left. So it's a little dusty, so we're gonna we're gonna hose her off and get her all cleaned up. All right, guys, uh, we got the Ultra 4 all cleaned up and prepped and ready for Trail Hero. And we got the Supra washed. I got the Toyota to move. So we're gonna spend the rest of the week getting that all wrapped up, getting the fenders cut, making it work, making it cycle, building a skid plate and a bumper. Also, Kevin and Brittany are home. Hey. Yeah, they showed up last night and um, <laughs> we got her LJ all wrapped up and the windows work great. Yes, and Today is the first day of fall. We are definitely feeling it with our flannels. Good old coffee. Mmm. 
Remember, you can get all your Light Bright merch at lightbrightstudios.com. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, definitely. That definitely still tastes like oil. Yeah, smell this. It smells straight up like oil. <laughs> that's that's apple oil. That smells. Yes, it is. It smells delicious. Now I gotta go dump my coffee. Damn it.